Good morning. So today is the 18th of November and I thought I'd give you another update on how I'm getting on with my universal credit claim refund and close. I don't really know what it is at the moment. The last update I did was at the end of October but the information in it related to the last thing that happened on my account which was on the 23rd of October. So it's been best part of a month. So the situation is that um, I was waiting to find out if my claim had been closed. Obviously it should be closed, I know that because I was on the protected year and I know that I was not eligible for normal universal credit. That wasn't a problem. Um, but due to an error on my part, I am owed some money back from money that I declared as income, which shouldn't have been de been declared as income, which was the interest from savings I had. And they invited me to submit my paperwork to have that money credited back to me. Note, they invited me to do that. They said, you should claim this back. So I am. So I did that in July. I gave them the paperwork. Um, at my last work coach meeting and then things just ticked along and she did say it would take a long time fair enough I understand the system runs at the speed of a turtle I get that so I'm giving you an update now because I feel like I have now officially fallen into the ranks of what most people on universal credit experience most of my year in fact right up until August uh, my, which was the end of my universal credit year on the protected year, everything went fine. It went swimmingly. I had my work coach meetings. I got paid every month. I did my submissions. Nothing went wrong. And then as soon as it came to the end and it required some energy and thinking outside the box of universal credit, it's all gone to pot. And I now feel like I've gone down this black hole of is anybody actually listening? Is anybody reading messages? So, on the 23rd of October, I had asked them via the journal online um, if they could update me as to whether the... Um, I was waiting for a decision maker to decide whether or not my claim was going to be closed. And I didn't know whether that would affect the interest claim that I still apparently have in process. I don't know if they've just shoved the paperwork in the bin, if it's being processed, if they've forgotten about it, or if they can't be bothered, or if I have to wait another year to find out if I've got it or not. I don't know because no one will tell me anything. So I requested again on the 23rd of October, can you please update me as to what I'm waiting to hear about, if I close my claim, will my journal shut down, and if that shuts down, how am I going to find out about this interest payment, or is that just going to shut that down as well? Didn't have a clue. Didn't have a clue. No one was telling me anything. On the 28th of October, which is about a week later, I got an email from the head office, which is not my local office, to tell me that the decision maker had made a decision to claim my UC cl uh, my, my claim. Wow, surprise, surprise. I knew this already. Fine, great, no problem. That isn't the problem. So I messaged her back the day after and said, yeah, I understand that. I know that that's what's going to happen. But what about this? So then she said, um, don't know about that. I'll ask your local office to find out to chase it up for you. And then I heard nothing. And then on the 13th of November, which was a week ago, I gave them two weeks, I've chased it up saying, is anybody going to answer me on this, basically? So here I am, doing what most other UC claimants are doing, which is not knowing what's going on. Because it's like, now that... It's like, now it's over, nobody cares. Even though there are annoying little things that they still have to do like answer a question for me because I don't know what's going on if someone would answer me I would stop harassing them but nobody answers um, it's now a Monday morning the 18th is a Monday so it's a new week so maybe I will hear something this week and I know that there are people who mentioned on my last video why are you bothering you know stop wasting your time with this um, well, A, it's the principle of it, because 
they invited me to claim that money back. I'm not going to give up. It's not a necessarily insubstantial amount of money. The amount that I declared was about £1,300. Now, I won't get all of that back because I guess the calculations will work it out. But, you know, it could be £1,000. Who knows? I'd like to know. And I don't know because no one's telling me anything. And this is the claim I put in in July. So I'm sticking with this. And the other reason that I am continuing to push on this and I keep doing it is because the in I've been cataloguing the entire process of my universal credit claim. It was like a social experiment. I'd never been in this system before. I didn't know anything about it. All I had really heard was bad things and I wanted to see what it was like for me. And I wanted to be able to document the process properly for other people that were going to go through the same thing as me. So being migrated from working tax credits onto universal credit in the protected year and what they might expect from that. Because trying to find understandable, basic, layman's information about this online is almost impossible. Um, you can go to the official website, the government DWP website, and it'll tell you a bunch of stuff that may or not be accurate. You can go onto YouTube, but most of the videos are from business professionals, not people who are actually doing claims, and they make it look like a business presentation. And it doesn't make any sense because in the real world, things never work like this. So that is why I wanted to do these because I wanted them to be useful for other people. I wish there had been this around when I was claiming at the start, it would have helped me a lot. And that is why I continue to do this process because there will be lots of people like me coming to the end of their protected year who don't know what happens afterwards. They don't know if they're going to be eligible. A lot of them will be because they won't have the same circumstances as me. The reason I am not eligible um, on an ongoing basis is really because of the interest, um, uh, sorry, the savings that I have, it's above the limit, um, but also it depends on your income. So if you don't earn enough to meet the threshold, they don't pay you. If you earn too much over the threshold or over the threshold at all, uh, they won't pay you. So I don't know where the middle ground is because I'm not eligible. They were telling me I had to keep putting in my claims after my year had ended while they were making decisions. Um, and I did that once and I wasn't eligible for anything, which is fine because had I been eligible and they paid me, I'd just be end up having to pay the money back. So it was one slightly less bit of hassle for me. But the calculations were strange because I didn't really understand although I now have what my minimum income floor is I don't had I remained on UC I don't understand what amount of money I would have to hit to still get any money if you know what I mean it didn't just didn't make any sense so in many ways I'm glad I'm out of that system because it no longer makes the sense that it used to Whereas when you're in the protected year, you don't have to meet the minimum income floor to get accepted onto the year. You just have to prove that you are either gainfully self-employed, which I was, uh, that's proving that you're doing your best to improve your business, to improve your income, you're working on it, um, or finding other work as well, all the other thing, all the things that can be done. And it meant that most months I was getting some money. But when you're on the regular system, if you don't make enough money to meet the income floor, they don't pay you. And if you earn too much, they don't pay you. So I don't know what the middle ground is of that because I'm out of that system now. I can only show you the calculations that they gave me for my last um, post-year calculation, which I'll put on the screen now because I don't think I've shown it before. And, you know, I don't get it. Anyway, so... That's the end of that update, um, and I will keep going with this. I will keep making additional posts as and when I hear anything, because this will be relevant to other people. There will be other people like me that have made a mistake and need to claim some money back and have no idea how long this is going to take. And there will be people who need the money a lot more than I do. There will be people who will be desperate, hand-to-mouth existences, 
have kids to feed, all that sort of thing, who might have to wait six months or a year to get their money back. The system does not work. We know it doesn't work. Everyone kept telling me it didn't work. And for a year it felt like it did work. But I wasn't fully in the system. And that was the key to having a good experience. Don't be in the system. So I will continue to press forth with this. And when I have an update, another update, I will let you know. In the meantime, if this sparks any questions in you or any similar experience, let me know. Drop a line in the comments. Um, I have had messages from people saying that the information I have posted up over the last year has been useful to them. Um, it's helped explain things to them that they couldn't get from DWP. And I think a lot of people feel very intimidated by the, the DWP offices and the people there and don't want to ask them questions. So if they can get the information elsewhere and not have to ask and feel embarrassed or intimidated or scared by these people, um, then they don't have to. So that's got to be an advantage. So that's my update. And um, I will let you know when I hear again. Who knows when? Speak to you soon. Bye-bye.